Hi guys, hope you all are doing good. Let's get started with the sports news burden of the day. Former Asian gold medalist boxer Dinko Singh is in need of a cancer treatment. This is what we had reported last time that he is unable to get radiation therapy done, which can be done in New Delhi, Kolkata, Guwahati, but not in Manipur, with where he is currently placed, and he cannot move out of his home because of the current going lockdown. So he's stuck there. He needs the therapy immediately. Now we have further development on this story. Now he will be flown to the national capital on April 25th, and not only this, seasoned boxers like Vijendra Singh and Manoj Kumar are trying their bit to raise funds for the former Asian gold medalists. The duo and other few players and coaches have connected through through a WhatsApp group, and they have managed to raise around one lakh rupees for this particular cause, and it will be directly transferred to Dinko's account through online payment. Indian sports will emerge stronger and better in a post-COVID-19 world, says Olympic gold medalist Abhinav Bindra. Bindra said that sports administrators need to work on this alternate skill development program that will ensure well-being of athletes in the longer run. The Olympic champion thinks of it as a blessing in disguise because this will give ample opportunity for the local infrastructure to develop, for athletes to train better and harder, and for coaches to work on themselves and also when there is a lack of foreign exposure so this will give them ample opportunity ample time to work on themselves he said this while addressing the newly appointed assistant directors at the sports authority of india though international olympic committee has already announced that they will be conducting olympics next year which is in 2021 they're still worried they're still confused about who will pay for the postponement of these games Media reports in Japan estimate that the year-long delay in Olympic Games due to coronavirus pandemic will cost around two to six billion dollars. On Tuesday, a conflict broke between the Tokyo Olympic organizers and the IOC about who will pay for the unprecedented year-long postponement of the Olympic Games. While everyone is wondering how Olympic postponement will impact athletes, the Indian sports in general, Anju Bobby George, she says that. It will mean that athletes have to start from the scratch. Anju Bobby George till date remains the only Indian athlete to win a medal at World Athletics Championship on a senior level. She runs a foundation in Bangalore, and she said that we'd send all the athletes, all the trainees, two days before the lockdown started, and we're just ensuring that their fitness is intact. She is making sure that she is regularly in contact with all the 13 athletes she had in her academy. High jumper Sharad Kumar says that after three years of rigorous preparation for the Paralympics, he is now anxious about future. The high jumper spent last three years in Ukraine getting battle ready for 2020 Paralympics, but now that it has been postponed, he is really disappointed, and he has a reason to be. He fears starting from scratch again, getting through all that hard work again, and this year-long wait is making him uneasy. But he also understands. That the world is in crisis and sports currently is at the secondary level and not the primary. He is, as matter of fact, one of the strongest medal prospects for next year's Paralympics, and we can't wait for him and other athletes to return back to action. And that's it. We will be back tomorrow. Till then, don't forget to like and share our video.